In this video, I will show you how to migrate a website from a live server down to a local host. For you to go about that is very simple and it's a straightforward process. All you need to do is to install a plugin. For you to begin, you click on plugin. Then come down to duplicator. I already have duplicator installed here, so I will deactivate it. And delete. So as you can see, duplicator is no longer here. Duplicator was successfully deleted. So for us to do that now, we we'll come down to add new, and then you type duplicator from your plugins. So here is your duplicator. You click on install. As you can see, it's now installing duplicator. You can see it is now installed. So you click on activate. You can activate from here or you can go to the main plugin section to activate it. Now, you can see here that the plugin has been installed. For us to be very sure of it, come down to my plugin and then scroll down. You can see duplicator is activated already. So come down to your duplicator and click on it from your side menu. So you have your duplicator window. Here you can see no package is found at the moment, which means you have not created any package or a backup for your website. So you come down to create, click on your create button. So you can see the name that is assigned automatically to it. And then all you just need to do is to click next so it will scan the entire website to see that everything is okay so looking at the system looks good 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 size check is saying notice so let's see what this one is saying all right it's referring to asset and then the images we have but that's not an issue look further every other thing looks good so you say what say a notice status has been detected and are you sure you want to continue yes of course i want to so i'll click on build So it's now scanning the package and building it. This will take a while, so just be patient. As you can see, the package has been built. So package build completed. Now, if you look at the two files, we have the installer and we also have the archive. So it's important you download both of them. So you click on download both. So if you look at your download from this side, you will see that the package is being downloaded. So let's pause the video until the process is completed. Return back. 
So let's check the process. You can see that the package is downloaded already. So let's check to see where it is, the location is. Download folder. So these are the two package that is being downloaded. I think that's all on how you can back up your website using duplicator.